In reference to what you mentioned taxes, and then on your vetting form, you uh, questionnaire, you mentioned that you lean libertarian, verging on Republican on taxation. And you do support a lot of socialized aspects of, uh, you know, of our community. And so mm -hmm. if, um, my thoughts on when I hear libertarian, I think of um, personal liberty and uh, no regulation. And then when I think Republican, I think uh, no taxes, low taxes, right. don't tax the wealthy. So how do you socialize all those things you're willing to socialize? How do you um, balance your willingness to socialize with your um, with what I imagine with the words you use describing your tax position? Yeah, I and mean, I appreciate the question. Um, first of all, I you know I was uh, raised uh, in a very um, progressive family, but uh, self-identifying as a libertarian because my, uh, my stepfather actually is and was a libertarian minister, you know, the, from the, the other side of libertarianism. And the reason that was the case is because, you know, when I was a, uh, a youngster, I probably like 10 or 11, I asked him, you know, hey, what does that, what does that mean? You know, what does that mean? I never heard of that. And, and he says, well, the, you know, the core principle is really just that uh, you do what you want and, and you don't let people control what you're doing as long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as you're not, you know, messing with somebody else's business, you can kind of, you know, the idea is that you can do what you want. This is this whole American dream, you know, we're, we, we, the idea is that we're, we're free uh, as long as we're not uh, in somebody else's business. And so uh, that's the core of, of the libertarian principle. Now that uh, differs somewhat from the party and the current climate, uh, you know, now libertarian is kind of like Republican light. But I really adhere to that principle, and I believe that, um, that to the degree that we can, we should practice that principle. At the, in this age, we can't do that very well. Um, so if you take it from like a green meets libertarian perspective, sure, let the uh, you know let the corporation kind of be free and do what they need to do as long as they're not actually hurting the people around them. But that includes the environment, that includes the economy. That includes the you know the working class that they're employing, actually have to do their job, and so when you take it to the level of small business, sure, decrease your amount of taxation, and the amount of uh, restrictive governing on that, so long as it's not interfering with other people's to, uh, right to live. And with taxation, it it gets real sticky, especially in conversations with the right, because even though I claim that I am pretty far left, and you can't win those conversations unless you figure out where the money. A, is going to come from, and B, where it was going in the first place. And so you get back to the military, military industrial complex. So if you're going to actually be a socialist and lean right on taxation, you have to fill that gap. And the answer to that is you have to, you have to address that issue, the fact that we're wasting literally half of our budget on insane negative expenditures. Redirecting of that could very easily and very quickly solve these problems. Not that big a deal to... to to you know, universal basic income, not that big a deal if you were to get transparency and accountability with the United States military. Suddenly, that that the, the conversation about paying for that gets real, real easy, real fast. And suddenly, you don't have to tax the small business owners. You know, the people that, like my boss, you know, who's really barely making it and working seventy hours a week. He doesn't need more taxes either, any more than I do or you do. How do you fix that? You need to create integrity within our armed forces. Excellent. Thank you so much.